You're listening to Weekend from the BBC World Service. Good morning from South Africa, where it's a beautiful morning, and welcome to episode one of radio. We're going to be covering some of the basics of radio, the technology, what makes it work, the electromagnetic wave spectrum, and then we'll get into some interesting stuff in episode two, three, four, and five. And while it's early morning here in Africa, let's jump over to Alaska. I'm going to show you something really interesting. You'll be amazed by this. 6.30 GMT. This is Weekend from the BBC World Service. Still to come, huge excitement. So, just uh, on my way here to go check out some HF stuff. I got the portable HF radio in my backpack. I have some wire as an antenna. The winter is definitely coming along. Some of the streams have already frozen over. I'm gonna see if uh, conditions are actually suitable for receiving some of the HF uh, air broadcasts. Those are all the um, frequencies that are used for communications between ATC and airplanes when they cross the when they do the oceanic crossings. So I'm uh, headed out to a remote location uh, where I can get away from RF interference, which is electromagnetic interference. Um, in the uh, built-up areas, in the populated areas, we have power lines and all sorts of electrical appliances that will cause electromagnetic interference. And when you're trying to detect very, very weak signals, those definitely play a role. And it's uh, causing just some background and static noise in what's commonly referred to as the noise floor. So we want to be in an environment where the noise floor is almost nothing and not detectable either, even though that's never the case because we always have atmospheric noise which is caused by the sun and its electromagnetic radiation <coughs> of its energy that is detectable throughout the radio spectrum of course. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to try and see if I can find a suitable low noise floor area and then we'll hook up the wire and see what we can hear. Well, there's a nice tree right over there, and um, it looks like I'll be able to, to get the wire up there, make it long and uh, sufficient length, and then I'll set up the radio over here. This is a quiet spot, a little bit out of the snow, or just around the, just around the corner here where I can actually get a little bit of shelter. And, uh, and in that tree over there, I can put the antenna wire, make it a little bit more vertical, which is more favorable for uh, reception of uh, signals from far away. Um, and so a vertical orientation will give me the lowest angle of radiation or lowest angle of reception which means I can receive the furthest distance signals uh, and we'll go into a little bit of uh, how that works with an antenna orientation. So here we go. And that's really not too bad for a short piece of wire. 5,000 miles of receiving that signal. Uh, it's almost uh, halfway around the world. That's not too bad. All right, enough of this snowy business already. Let's go see how this works in the Caribbean and then in Africa. Welcome to episode one of five, where I'll cover some of the basics of radio communications. And uh, going into receivers, transmitters, antenna systems and propagation. 
and all the fun things we can do with radio. Well, this looks like a great spot under the tree here. Let's go, uh, let's get out of the African sun and let's go find a spot in the shade here. Well, this is a nice, nice cool spot. Well, that was a lot of fun playing around in Alaska and so you, showing you guys some of the basics of radio communications, taking it out in the field and experimenting a little bit with uh, receiving. And of course, that polar flutter, that's really, really interesting. So in this series of five episodes, I'm going to cover, first of all, episode one, the basics of radio communications. In episode two, I'll cover the transmitter and its components. Episode three will cover the receiver. Episode four will cover antenna systems and how that plays a major role. And then in episode five, I'll cover some of the interesting phenomena and radio wave propagation. Interesting things we can do with radio waves, uh, how propagation is really very, very significant to what goes on in radio communication, and some of the scenarios that plays a role uh, in communications around Whiskey. Earth. Yeah, W1AW, uh, very good morning. Very strong five and nine. And welcome again to the series. Make sure to tune into episode two, where I'm going to cover some of the basics of radio transmitters and the elements that make them work. It's 6.30 GMT. This is Weekend from the BBC World Service. Still to come.